Hello, hello guys. All right, so I'm going to be coming up with a little um, YouTube Clever Touch board series that hopefully will be helpful to you as you are integrating into your class. Um, I wanted to start off today by just giving a quick little overview of the board itself. Um, many of you might already know all of this, so bear with me or press stop right now. Uh, if you don't know it, then great, it, you might learn something new. So when you first turn your board on, there's a power button over here on the right, and then obviously you also have a remote control that you're welcome to use for volume and other purposes. When you first turn it on, you'll see these three little carrots here on the board. The first carrot here is going to be your general input settings. Your LUT is your wireless settings, so anytime you connect wirelessly through an iPad or um, your Chromebook or your MacBook, you're going to be using that code up here and you're going to open up CleverShare and do it that way. I'm sure most of you know how to do that already. If you don't, I'm happy to show you. Then you've got your HDMI port. Your VGA is like your normal clip cord that you used to use to connect to your smart board to your computer. If you wanted to um, connect and hardwire it, you're welcome to do that if you have the cord in your room. And then on the right and the left side of the board, you've got your pop-out here of your taskbar of everything, basically all the apps and software programs that are built into your uh, Clever Touch board. So I'm gonna go ahead and just work my way right down the list. I'm gonna give you a quick little overview of the built-in whiteboard here. Um, it's a pretty nifty little board. It's really easy to use. Um, there's some neat things you can do in here. So over here on the right, you can change your backgrounds right here. So if you wanted to change the color, you can. There's some textures. So if you wanted some paper, there's some music note stuff. Um, I don't know what you might use a grid for something. Um, you can do that in there. This is also where you will, um, where you can save your any annotations or anything, any uh, notes or anything that you're doing on the board. You might want to share or save to your cloud drive. Uh, you can. You can also share via QR code. So that's kind of nifty. I haven't tried that yet, so I can't give you too much information. And then you've got your normal toolbar down here. This is your select tool, okay? So if you have anything on here, you can select that. Your pens, okay, right now it's red. If I do a short press and hold, I can change my pen style. I can change the, um, the width of my pen and then the color and whatnot there, okay? The, um, the little A symbol here is your text. So if I was, say, writing my name or something, it will go ahead and turn that into text for me. And then I can select that. I can move it around the board. I can make it bigger if so I, if I choose. I can make the whole board bigger. I can make it smaller. There's also an equation tool here. So if I wanted to write an equation, it'll go ahead and create that for me as well. I think there's a way to solve it as well, but I have to learn, I have to learn how to do that. The eraser tool is kind of neat because I can actually swipe through everything and it'll delete it for me, which is kind of nice. The trash can will delete everything that's on the board, okay? Then you've got some shapes here. If I press do a short press and hold, they'll pop up for me and I can, I can add, come on. I don't know why, I don't know why it's not working now. There we go, okay? So I can add those. The hand here is if I wanted to create more room on my space. Your board, I think it's, it's like an infinite, infinite space. So I can scroll up and down to make more room and then it'll save that file. The, um, the pink palette here, I'm not really, I don't totally understand it. You can, you can switch to this and then it'll switch your board here. Um, I'm not hundred percent sure why. So I need to learn more about this. Then I think if you click here, it'll take you back to your main whiteboard. You can add more pages over here if you wish as well. So that's just a very quick overview. If you're in something and you want to make sure you get back to your main Clever Touch board, you can click your pen and always click home and that'll take you back to your home page. All right, the next uh, area is the files. Files is anything that you're saving from your um, Clever Touch board. You can save anything you do on it, you can save to your Clever Touch board and your files. You can also create um, a cloud, you can um, sync your cloud storage. So you can go ahead and log in to a Google Drive account on here. And I will show you that in another video, okay? 
There's a built-in browser. I honestly have not seen a difference between that built-in browser and the Chrome app browser that's that's also on the board. I, I just, I haven't seen what the difference is yet. So if anyone has figured that out yet, please let me know. But this takes you to Google. You can sign in here um, to get to your drive as well. And that's another video as well. The Clever Store, you can go in. What I really like about the Clever Store is they have um, a lot of partnerships with um, third-party apps. And what's really nice is there's no advertisements, so that's really wonderful. And then everything that's here is free and safe for kids to use. So if you wanted to download anything, I would start with the Links whiteboard. That's another whiteboard app that I'll be talking about at another date. But you basically just click on it, download it, it'll download. And when it's ready, it will go ahead and download to your app section of the board, right here, okay? Active is just all the windows that you have currently open on your board. You can get to them there. You can close them by swiping. You can also do dual, sc dual screen. So by going into those active screens, if I, if I click here, this little, it looks like a pause button, to actually dual screen, I can have something open here and they can have something open here and work on that at the same time, okay? All right. Lock is, I'm not gonna do it, but if you have multiple users on the board, I can, I can lock my board up and it'll, it'll lock it up for me. Apps, these are all the apps that I've downloaded, which aren't very many right now. So um, if I wanted to, I can add that to my favorites down at the bottom here. I just hit the plus sign. I can just download so I can add my settings down there if I wanted easy access to it. Now I can get to my settings from here. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about settings for a minute. If you want to um, ever change like the wallpaper of your display, you can click display here and click wallpaper. Um, you can go to their gallery. They have built in, um, well, I thought they did. They have um, built in wallpapers here, if you want to add any of those to your to your um, board, you can also add live wallpapers. So you can add like the black hole, and that'll be moving on there. Things like that. Okay. Um, also, back in your settings, I want to try something really quick. If I were to press my two fingers over here. That pen, that floating pen tray will actually follow me. So if I'm on the right side of my board or if I'm on my left side of my board and I wanna that to come over to me, I can go ahead and just press and hold for literally lightly for two seconds and that'll pop up for me, which is kind of a neat little, a neat little uh, trick. And then you can annotate over things that you have open on your, on your Clever Touch board. Um, I'm trying to think if there's really anything else. Um, you can also go in here and create and delete users. Um, you can change your settings to put things to sleep if you want to, okay, and that's that. So, we'll just do that one for now. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I hope that was a very simple overview. Um, as I stated, I'm still learning as well, so I'm here to help you as much as I possibly can. Um, let me know if you need anything, okay, bye.